Master, would you like some more coffee? Mm. Paper more entertaining than I am. No, don't be silly, Jeannie. Well, you hide behind it and never even notice me. I do not know why you bothered rescuing me from that bottle on the island. For all you care, I could be a lamp or a vase or a... Of course I notice you. As a matter of fact, I noticed you were wearing a new shade of lipstick this morning. It's very becoming. You look beautiful. Oh, yeah, I gotta get moving. I'm gonna be in the centrifuge earlier this morning. Have a good day. <laughs> You were a chimpanzee. It was something you order in and out of a bottle. Oh, no, that's not true. You're a warm, wonderful woman. You're everything a man could possibly... Back in the bottle. Ah! No, no, I'm sorry. I, I, I didn't mean it exactly that way. Jeannie, now, now, come on. Ah, uh, look, I... Rookie, how me, rookie, how me, you better go sell me out do me a favor, don't ever translate that. <laughs> Diane! Downy Bunny! Downy Bunny? It must have been two years. Two years, one month, and ten days, Tony Bunny. Has it been that? When did you get in the town? Why, just ten minutes ago. I borrowed Papa's plane and flew in. And now I'm really ready. <laughs> well, yes. Say, we are. Uh, we really kicked it around in Fort Worth, didn't we? Oh, well, it's a, it's a nice city, all right. We didn't, uh, I wouldn't say we exactly kicked it around. Sure, I remember Fort Worth. We had a wonderful time, didn't we? Yeah. <laughs> Those lovely warm days and nights. <laughs> <laughs> well, sit down, Doc. <laughs> no. Honey, you're nervous. Say, you're not married to anything silly like that, are you? Oh, no, no, nothing silly like that. <laughs> I've got to get that chair fixed. I don't want that to happen again. Diane, how long are you going to be in town? In just a couple of days. I've got to liquidate some stock holdings for Papa. Then I guess we won't have too much time together. We don't need too much time, do we, Lava? What's it you used to say? We could crowd a whole hour to just a couple of seconds. Oh, really? really I, I, did I say that? <clears throat> you know, this is wonderful for relaxation once you get the hang of it. You sure act married. No, I'm not. I have every right to live my own life. How about eight o'clock? Seven. <laughs> all right. Tell you what, why don't you meet me here for cocktail? It'll be Fort Worth all over again. And maybe we'll throw in a little Dallas and Houston, too. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Oh, Tommy Bun. I'm sorry, Diane. I'm sorry. I really am. Uh, seven o'clock? Six thirty. Jeannie? Jeannie, where are you? Jeannie? 
I'm here, Master. Just what do you think you were doing? Well, I have a right to protect what is yours. Y what's that? Me. <laughs> Jeannie, it just so happened that I'm a very good friend of her family. Her, her brothers and I were best buddies when I was stationed down in Texas. Diane was just one of the boys. She does not look like one of the boys. Well, you're just going to have to accept that, that I'm doing this for her family. It's kind of a good deed. I'll see you later. Goodbye. section making out the results of the pressure chamber tests now. What did you mean you were doing it for her family? Jeannie, what are you doing here? Well, I would like to know more about this girl. There'll be four reports. Fennedy Davis Henderson. <laughs> then the girl in the harem costume. Uh, nothing, General. I'll have the reports on your desk this afternoon. Goodbye, sir. These are ready for your signature, sir. What? Oh, yes. <laughs> Never mind about Diane. What if somebody catches you in that outfit? I couldn't explain you in a million years. Then you are going out with this girl tonight. You bet I am. I don't want to discuss it anymore. Salt. You do, and I'll pour ink in your bottle. <laughs> Smoke yourself home, will you? <laughs> you idiot! Where do you think you're going? Well, I have seen some stupid driving in my time, but I've never seen such a beautiful girl in my life. Oh, I'm so sorry. I must have ruined your car. Oh, it was, it was nothing. I'll, I'll get another one. But you've broken the eye that shines in front. I'll say, how about dinner tonight? Oh, I could not have dinner with you, but I feel I should do something about your car. Well, do something about me. How about dinner tonight? <laughs> you are very persistent. Also very lovable. How about dinner tonight? I do not know anything about you. What is there to know? I'm an emotionally healthy astronaut. An astronaut? Of course. You're a friend of... A friend of whose? Never mind. I will have dinner with you tonight. <laughs> <laughs> a traumatic little experience which you may be able to clarify for me. Me, sir? Yes, you. When you drove up this morning, you were alone. But when I looked again, there was a girl with you. A girl? Yes. A girl in a harem costume. A girl in a harem costume? Well, at least I thought she was in a harem costume. And then I looked a second time, and she was in a dress. Doctor, you have a problem. Yes. <laughs> of course. 
course, I know there was no girl. It was my subconscious playing tricks. But a harem costume. <laughs> I'll have to work this out. Naturally, this will remain strictly between us. Thank you, Captain. <laughs> and a big, beautiful good morning to you, Colonel. Is it? <laughs> man, oh man, did I just meet a girl. I know, and you're in love again. Oh, no, no, I'm serious this time. This girl is different. She's, she's sensitive and she's shy and I don't know how to handle her. Maybe, look, maybe you can give me some advice, huh? Well, sure, sure. Well, for one thing, with a shy girl, you've got to have a positive approach. Uh, uh, you have to have a battle plan. What uh, would you suggest? Um, a, hey. the uh, softening up process, a liberal amount of champagne. And B, the pincer movement, uh, get her up to your apartment to listen to your records. And C, the... All out attack. No, no, wrong. wrong. <laughs> With the kind of girl you described, that would ruin everything. No, you've got to draw her out. Um, get her talking about herself. That simpatico. And then we'll... And then she falls into my lap like a ripe plum. <laughs> 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 hey, I've got a date tonight. I'd like to meet this girl. What do you say we meet for cocktails? I'll give you ten minutes with her, no more. Now, what does that mean? Uh, anyone who can give expert advice like that can't be trusted. <laughs> Jeannie? Jeannie? Yes, Master? Oh, I'm going to be uh, leaving now. There's supposed to be a good late show on television, and I was... Hey, wow. What you all dressed up for? I have a date. With a man? They make the best date. <laughs> well, well, who is he? Where where did you meet him? Oh, I did not meet him. I bumped into him. And uh, just like that, you made a date with him? A man you don't know anything about? Oh, if you are jealous and do not wish me to go. No, no, no. Go. Uh, you, you have every right to go out. Uh, have a wonderful time. What's his name? I forgot to ask him. You're going out with a man and you don't even know his name? Well, Master, I'm a grown woman. What is there to worry about? Grown men. <laughs> See, you don't have any experience with the American male. I have to have a little talk with him when he comes to pick you up. I am meeting him at the public library. He's not coming here. What's he trying to hide? Well, if you would rather I do not go, I will not go, uh, sir. No, no, go, go. It's your life. You made the date. Go. Oh. Well... Goodbye, then. Bye. I am going. Yeah, I know. Good night, then. Good night. Unless you would rather I do not go, and then I won't. No, go, go. She went. <laughs> Hi. Hello? Oh, hello, Roger. Listen, I haven't got time to talk. I, I've got to go after a friend of mine. Listen, I thought we were going to meet and have a couple of drinks and... Uh, no, I'll, I'll just have to meet her some other time. My friends are in real trouble. <laughs> Never mind, she just came back. Hello, lover. Ready to rock the town? Huh? Well... Now, I bet you got big plans for tonight. Where do we go first? Public library. <laughs> Uh, no, thanks. We're just looking. Tommy, I think you've been in orbit too long. Well, first you dragged me to the public library and you don't even take out a book. And this is the fourth nightclub we've been to. Uh, don't you like our nightclubs, Diane? I wouldn't know. We haven't stopped in one long enough to have a drink. There's a friend of mine. I'd like you to meet him. That's progress. So far, all I met a four doorman and a head librarian. <laughs> uh, Raj? Hi. Tony! Uh, this is Diane Rodney, Captain Roger Healy. Diane, e, would you like to join us? Uh, no, thanks. we got to be running along. Did you ever sit down long enough to make a friend? <laughs> uh, Diane, sit down. I'll be right back. Pardon me. Jeannie. Master, darling, what are you doing here? Oh, I, uh, I just dropped in for a drink. While I'm here, I might as well drive you home. Oh, I do not think my date would like that. Yeah, I don't care whether he likes it or not. 
Jeannie, I don't think you realize the trouble you can get into staying out late with a man you don't know. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, this man could be uh, dangerous. He could be some kind of a nut. He could be Roger. Roger, 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 you're dead. Don't you know each other? Yeah, yes, yes, we've met. Oh, oh, uh, Diane, this is Jeannie. Oh, any friend of Tony Bunny's is a friend of mine. <laughs> uh, yeah. uh, this is the girl you were telling me about, huh? This is the one. Uh, gorgeous, isn't she? Sugar? Isn't she something else? Yes, yeah, she sure is. Oh, wait, wait, wait. The coffee may be too hot. It is just right. <laughs> don't, don't wake me up. <laughs> I am sure that you would notice if you were eating breakfast with a chimpanzee. Not if he was reading a newspaper. The thing that I like about this conversation is that I don't know what anybody's talking about. What she's trying to say is she adores me. You know, she's been doing things like this for me all night. You know, when I sat down, I was sitting at draft, and she sat there herself. Where did you say that you found her? Uh, Diane, would you like to dance? Oh, I thought you never ask. Roger, will you dance with her, please? <laughs> Oh, sure. Oh, wait. Uh, your shoes. <laughs> kind of hard to believe, but when I came in, she took off my shoes so I'd be comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hard to believe there. You sit down there, add a little champagne, you drink up there bubbly bubbly, and I'll be right back. <laughs> Jeannie, what are you trying to prove? You said to go, so I went. But not with my best friend. Oh, you are jealous. Oh, of course I'm not jealous. I, I just don't like to see you make a fool of yourself, that's all. I mean, taking his shoes off, putting his shoes on. Will I do that for you? Well, yeah, that's different. Now, stop gulping down the champagne and come home. Are you asking me as my master or as a jealous tone, Bonnie? Neither. Then I will not go home. <laughs> <laughs> the next dance is yours, reluctant dragon. Oh, well, I don't think we ought to leave them alone. Give me one good reason. Uh, you two go ahead. We're going to be running along. Running along where? The old battle plan? What old battle plan? Captain Healy invited me to listen to his record collection. <laughs> We're going to have a nice long talk, Sympatico. How about that? Yeah, I want to have a nice long talk with you. Not in the middle of a battle. Look, I'll take care of the bill. Nice meeting you, Diane. Now, wait a minute, Roger. Don't worry, Master. I will report to you everything that happens. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, uh, Jeannie. <laughs> well, welcome to Casa Healy. <laughs> uh, the house of beautiful music, fine wines, and a lonely bachelor until the night. Oh, it is very lovely. I, ooh. Uh, is uh, something the matter? Oh, it is my head. I, I think I've had too much champagne. Ah, uh, you've come to the right place. Old Doc Healy has just the cure for headaches. Oh, you are a doctor? Uh-huh. We have a nice, comfortable sofa and no glaring lights. That's uh, very important. Excuse me. No glaring lights. <laughs> Lots of lights off. And what do we have here? <sighs> Soft music. <laughs> now, how's that? It is very nice. Just leave it up to the old Doc. Must be a, must be a short. <laughs> Little lights, get that right away. <laughs> Don't wait, pardon me. There we go. Now, back to that nasty old headache. Put your shoulder right over there. Relax. Close your eyes. Just feel the mood of the music. I don't even have the record in my collection. <laughs> I think my headache is gone. Now I've got one. Well, here's your chance to, to help me. Just as I was going to help you. <sighs> Oh, 
Roger. Roger. Roger, open up. Raj. Good morning, Raj. Tony, what, what, what are you doing here? I want to borrow your slide rule. A slide rule at 2 o'clock in the morning? Yeah, yeah, I got a little work on my finish. You want, want to borrow my slide rule at 2 o'clock in the morning? Boy, what, a, what a crazy night this has been. First, Jeannie runs out on me, and then... Jeannie runs out on you? Yeah, I didn't get the plan C. Oh. Oh, well, I, I'm sorry about that, Raj. Better luck next time. What next time? I don't even know where she lives. What? Hey, wait, wait, wait a minute. Do you know where she lives? Oh, sorry. Boy, I gotta find her. I, I'm crazy about her. I take... Did she ever give you her phone number or anything? No, uh, now, well, come to think of it, she may have. Uh, uh, the party where I met her, she was handing it out to everybody. Her phone number? Oh, you can't blame her. A plain girl like that, uh, she has to do everything she can to get a date. Plain girl? You must have retarded redness. She was gorgeous. Well, if she was so gorgeous, how could you get a date with her just like that? Well, I'm pretty gorgeous myself. You see what she did for me? She couldn't do enough for me. Treated me like I was a king. Well... I get pretty tired of a woman phoning all over him. Well, what's wrong with a little attention? Attention? You're talking about a, a girl who feels your coffee cup on your first date. That's bad. <laughs> well, today it's your coffee cup, tomorrow it's your whole life. Yeah. Let's see how she would get to be a little possessive. Mm -hmm. Not only that, you're going to lose all your married friends. Uh, all my married friends? Yeah. yeah. Well, the, the wives will hate Jeannie. Oh, they'll see her catering to you, uh, uh, treating you with uh, a kindness and understanding, compassion. You think they're going to sit idly by and let her destroy everything they stand for? I see I can lose the wives. I'm sure right about that. Now, maybe she did go a little too far when she took off my shoes. Roger, the last thing I want to do is talk you out of a girl you're crazy about. If she was so great, how come I was able to get a date with her just like that? Well, I don't want to spoil anything for you. There's nothing to spoil. She overstepped herself when she tipped a doorman and helped me into the cab. Our friendship's the only thing that counts. Yeah, I don't know how to thank you, Tony. If you hadn't talked to me, I made a, made a terrible fool out of myself. Take it easy, Ross. And, uh, uh, Tony, you, you, uh, you forgot your uh, slide rule. Uh, what, at 2 o'clock in the morning? <laughs> Thought you'd still be out with Captain Healy. Oh, I left him. You were not worried about me? Hmm? No, no, not a bit. I said to myself, if Jeannie can't take care of herself, who can? Well, I, I thought you might at least go up to Captain Healy's apartment to see if I was all right. No, 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 it never occurred to me. That'd be at 2.30 in the morning. Oh, Jeannie, do you mind? <laughs> Thanks. <clears throat> Roger, what are you doing here? Oh, I couldn't sleep, Tony. I figured if you needed a slide rule at uh, 2 o'clock in the morning, you must be working on something pretty important, so I brought it over. Come on, thanks. You really don't have to bother. Thanks a lot. Thanks. Oh, Master, you did go to Captain Healy's apartment. Well, only for a minute. Oh, you were worried about me. A little bit. Jeannie, there's one thing you've got to remember. What is that? I'm only human. 